<clears throat> so I recently, as of today, went uh, record shopping, as I normally do on weekends. Every so often I like to kind of go to a local uh, record shop uh, near me and do a little perusing of their collection. Uh, they have records, CDs, uh, cassette tapes, uh, they have some 8-tracks there as well. They also sell like posters and stickers and all that stuff. Um, everything that a music nerd would love to see. Um, and I got, I got a couple things today. Excuse me, uh, I, I try not to leave there without buying something because it's a local business and I'd, I'd really like to support them and keep them in business for as long as possible. So I really do enjoy going to this place. So shout out to them. Um, so we'll start off with the smallest items. Uh, Lincoln Park sticker and then a Chester Bennington from Lincoln Park sticker and then a, uh, a System of a Down from System of a Down sticker. So as far as like CDs and stuff go, um, I got this one it says we are astronauts outside Boston. Um, I think this is a local band to the Northeast Excuse me, the northeast of the United States, obviously somewhere from around uh, New England. It's a 2012 album, I think, and or 2013. This came out in. I've never heard of these this group before, um, and I'm always interested in hearing like local bands and and all that. So figured I'd pick pick this album up from from this group and uh we'll see how how it sounds. And then this is interesting. I got a unopened original sealed from the factory um album of Marilyn Manson. They had um I think like two two of this album and this was the only one that was like still wrapped in uh in plastic and had the original sticker on it from the um from the the original shop where it was purchased uh and i, I just kind of find this stuff really interesting um i'm trying to add some more like unopened albums and stuff into the collection that i have uh and this is certainly a really good um at least for me, it's a really good uh, addition to the collection. I should have gotten both, but I didn't. Um, I mean, I can always just download this this album on my phone and listen to it, so it's not really a, a, a huge deal. But um, you can see the anti-piracy warning on the back, which is pretty cool. This was at like the height of like the internet. At, well, like when the internet like first kind of became like more mainstream than it currently is, um, and people like people were downloading um, music and stuff from like Napster, and um, I was a big user of LimeWire back in the day, so that's kind of why that's there um, on that and. I don't know, I might just keep this in the original packaging so because I, I thought it was cool. Um, another thing I thought was cool was uh, this album. This is, excuse me, of Montreal, False, excuse me, False Priest. Uh, this is one of the first things I found at the record store. And I thought it was just incredibly interesting how um, just the artwork in it is very weird very avant-garde this is like my first time seeing any of these can't show that on the internet uh, I just thought it was very interesting and very um, very interesting and just kind of very uh, weird 
uh, I'm just kind of sifting through this to see any um, inappropriate images. Yeah, a lot of these are just um, weird and sort of out there and strange, but it's interesting and I like weird things. Let's see what we have in here, what the disc looks like. That is very strange artwork, but I like it a lot. Um, again, I've never heard this band before of Montreal, but I guess they have four other albums out right now. Satanic Panic in the Attic, The Sunlandic Twins, Hissing Fauna, Are You the Destroyer? And Skeletal Lamping. Seems like a very interesting band. I'll have to give them a spin and see how I like them. I do, I am a very big fan of like weird stuff that most people aren't really into. Um, hence why I picked up a sealed copy of Marilyn Manson because <clears throat> I don't know. I like Marilyn Manson. I find that he's very weird in the sort of history behind him and uh, he has kind of a lot of connections in the, um, you know, with all the controversy surrounding him. Uh, it's just a very, very, I don't know. I like a lot of his work, so um, that's why I have that. And the last piece I picked up is actually a poster that I would like to get framed. I don't even know if you can see this whole thing. Um, <clears throat> but it's, it's a... I assume that this is a cover for uh, Dio's album Dio. And uh, you can see down here um, with the featuring rock and roll children and Hungry for Heaven. Um, <clears throat> so this is obviously just a copy of the album cover just kind of blown up and put onto a poster. Um, very interesting. I saw this and I knew I had to have it and uh, I, I just really like Dio and all of the things that he's done in the uh, for the like the, the metal community and I don't know I, I just love Dio you know he's excuse me fantastic musician and he's certainly he was one of the greatest uh, musicians singers songwriters uh, artists <clears throat> I think in ever really so it's definitely going up on the wall somewhere so that was all of the uh, the pickups from from this round of record shopping so thank you guys so much for watching if you found this and you enjoy it and you want to see more stuff like this please subscribe and uh, that'll allow me to do do more of this kind of content or just more content in general really so <clears throat> again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video until then peace